So the first is, what does your company do to help create and support innovation? Well, we are venture capitalists, so that's everything that we do. So we raise money and we invest it behind great entrepreneurs. And what's your decision-making process for deciding who you're going to invest in? It's um, markets, people, and differentiation. What do you think the, U the government can do to help support innovation? So the government could reduce regulation for companies and for venture capital firms. There is regulation needed, but it needs to be easy and efficient. The second thing it can do is uh, basically promote entrepreneurship by, um, you know, funding emerging managers, emerging startups in not a, a wholehearted way, but a partial way, and create incentives, tax incentives, and also uh, funds to help sponsor entrepreneurship. Where can the U.S. and the EU find common areas of cooperation and learn from each other? Well, absolutely, in about how you create winners. Um, this is about how you accelerate and get the mistakes that have been made by others incorporated and avoided in the new uh, startups. So it's about linking experienced entrepreneurs with young entrepreneurs. It's linking experienced investors with young entrepreneurs. And I also think the globalization in terms of figuring out how to enter markets. U.S. companies come to Europe, they think it's a single market. It's not yet. So you have to crack each country one at a time. That's the mistake they make. The mistake the Europeans make is that they enter in a small way and they don't realize the scale and the need to compete in an aggressive market. And they do exactly the opposite. They go in, tiptoe in. And they must decide to go in and go in wholeheartedly. So why are you here? Why did you decide to spend your time and to come to us? Because I think entrepreneurship is something that young people need to embrace. And it's very possible for young people to be entrepreneurs and we need to promote that. So I want to be here to help that. Do you think that entrepreneurship is something that you may learn? Yes, absolutely. How? Uh, by watching others around you, by watching people who've done it before, by um, seeking mentors who can educate you. Are these kind of events, in your opinion, help uh, people to become more entrepreneurial or to learn something? I don't think they help them to be more entrepreneurial. Uh -huh. I think to learn something, yes. In other words, a network of peers helps you ask questions, learn about mistakes, know them perhaps before doing them yourself. So I think, and also a sense of community, that you're all in it together. So if you created your own event, how would it be? How would you shape it to make it the most effective possible? Well, I would, in addition to a big forum, I would actually um, seek to make smaller groups that perhaps have longevity so that you actually have a group of six or eight entrepreneurs who help each other, who are interested in the same thing and who then uh, meet on a regular basis, maybe quarterly, something like that. Okay, and the last, like the shortest, the sharpest message that you would like to pass to entrepreneurs or innovators? It's all about new ideas. We're going to innovate our way out of the crisis by having new ideas come from people like you. Um, that's what matters for the European economy.